What's up guys? Today I'm going to go ahead and talk about something that I get asked all the time. And you probably know this question already because there's a chance that if you're watching this video you might be thinking about it too. Which is why I left six pack shortcuts. Man, well before I share the reason, let me tell you. It, <laughs> six pack shortcut was like everything to me. You know, it was... It was my whole entire life, man. I put everything in that company, you know. I left my hometown and just everything I had. All my time, all my energy, everything. It was like my baby. And about four years ago, about four years ago, I experienced something that changed. Changed everything. Everything and the way I saw myself, saw my life, and saw how to be and you know it's it could be a little difficult to understand because one of those things that explaining it with words is actually a little difficult somebody would have to actually experience it but I've had a little bit of time to think about this and the way I would explain it would be like this you know imagine imagine that you have everything that you want in your life, you know, because that's how I felt, you know, and you're happy. And then suddenly you experience a level of happiness that was, let's say, three times happier than what you've ever experienced in your entire life. You don't even know, you don't even know what's going on except the fact that you are experiencing something and this something that's happening is three times happier than the happiest moment you've ever experienced in your life. So that is basically what happened to me. I experienced, I was at an event and through a chain of reactions and all this stuff, I experienced a level of happiness that was so high I don't know if I can even say it was three times higher it could have been so many more times higher there's there was no calculation but all I know is it was so good that instantly I knew that nothing in my life was more important than what I was experiencing that happiness and that whatever I was searching for, you know, the purpose of life, the, uh, you know, what is life about? Instantly, like there was no trying to figure it out. Instantly, I knew that it had to do with what I was experiencing. And I didn't know what the heck was going on. I'll be totally honest with you guys, man. That's why I left, you know, because I had to go and find out. But I was so happy my mind and my body was so different. I was so light, my mind was so clear, so expanded. Total, I mean, epiphany shift is like nothing. Like epiphany is nothing. That's like this compared to what I was experiencing, you know? And I had to go and find out what is this happiness that's happening? What is going on? It is so good. And that's why I left. I instantly knew that it was exactly what I've been looking for my entire life. And I didn't even know that I was looking for it. I wanted to be happy, but I never experienced a level like that. And I spent four years to go and dive in and learn and train and experiment and everything I could do to go and really capture like what created it. What is the, what is the real cause? How did I go from being normal, happy, to suddenly crazy, super saiyan, ecstasy happiness? Like, how did that just happen, you know? Just out of the, out of the blue, you know? Now, there's things that I was doing. There was some breathing stuff, there was some tapping stuff, there was letting go stuff. But I didn't know, like, what did that have to do with it exactly? And after all these years, now I found out, you know? Now I found out the real root cause of it. And the root cause of it is energy. It's energy 
and letting go. That's the root cause. But just simply saying that isn't, um, it isn't enough for someone to just experience what I experienced. You know, it takes more. But that is the base, that's the root cause. When our energy in our body is flowing, we're not holding on to emotions of the past. You know, these traumas that we've experienced, you know, something happened when we're five years old, something happened when we're eight years old, you know, someone told us this when we're 10 years old, whatever, right? Growing up, even later on, anytime, something happened, we experience these things and then we store these emotions inside of our bodies. We hold on to these, these events and these stories as part of our history now, as part of us. And every time when we do that, our energy flow decreases, becomes a little less. Because it's like stagnated energy. Energy is supposed to flow nicely like water, you know? It's supposed to flow. But when we are holding on to these negative emotions, the energy gets stuck. And then they start to manifest into like physical pain. Pain in our lower back, pain in our upper back, you know, in our traps, you know, pressure in our chest, um, build up here like uh, um, blockages in our throat. Have you ever had like, like you can't speak? You know, like you got a frog stuck in your throat? Like you wanna say something but your throat seemed to lock up? It starts to show up in our body. And when we can let go of these, these emotional energies, these energies in our body, by getting the energy to flow, when we can let it go, when we can let go of identifying these events as part of us, when we can let go of that in our mind, now what happens is our mind expands. Our perspective expands like crazy. We can look at the same thing, we can look at our life, we can look at ourselves, but now we see it in a totally different point of view. One that is so abundant, that is so loving, that is so full of possibilities, that something that we just never was able to see, and nothing changed. Nothing changed on the outside, but something inside of us changed. Our energy started flowing. We let go and we stopped identifying with things that happen to us. We stop identifying with these emotions and these events. We need to learn that it's not us. This thing happened to me. That thing happened to that person. That's life. But let it go. That happened two hours ago. That happened two days ago. That happened two months ago. Let it go. That happened two years ago. Stop thinking about it. Stop, stop making it into a story and telling everybody. You know, stop keeping it alive. Because when we keep these stories alive, there's emotional charge. There's emotional energy behind it. There's emotions behind it. And then if we talk about a story that made us stressful, now we are re-experiencing this story. We're re-experiencing this emotion of stress. How many times do you or maybe somebody you know is talking about something that that happened that they're upset about. Something that happened that they're bothered about, that they're offended about, that they're, you know, that they're stressed about, that they have a problem with. Why? Let it go. You know, that's what the past, let it go. No, 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 I just, I, I know you don't understand, you know, you know, I, I can't let it go. I just, it really upsets me. No, no, just, okay, I understand, it upsets you. It upset at you, you know, two days ago. It upset at you two years ago. But why would it, why did it still upset you now? Yeah, yeah, it still upsets me now. Oh, okay. See, see? When we are still upset about something, when we're still bothered by something that happened way long time ago, now it's not just something that just happened. It is now like part of us. It's part of our identity. It's part of our personality now. And see, when all of this happens, our energy flow continues to go down. Our perspective continues to shorten and the close. Because it takes not having a lot of fear to have an open perspective. It takes being 
brave and like being confident and like it takes being able to let go to be able to flow with life you know to not have to control everything so things like this this is what I've discovered you know over the years and that was able that was what allowed me to be able to get my happiness just to this extreme high so high I promise you I promise you I have never even knew that happiness existed now this can make sense to you or this can make no sense to you and I if it doesn't make any sense hey man I totally get you man trust me all right trust me I get you but I'm trying to explain it the best I can and when it's something when I try to explain when I'm explaining something that somebody has never experienced it's kind of hard to pinpoint it you know when it's just a feeling sensation it's not like let me tell you about this place I went to you know it's, it's, it's a little different but that's what happened because there ain't no way that I would just give up all of my life. I gave up almost everything, you know, almost everything. Promise to God, man. Social life, you know, my relationship, you know, my business, the channel, you know, everything. And, but it was, it was that worth it for me. And I'm glad. I'm really glad I did because I wouldn't be back here now to be able to share with you all the stuff that I've learned if I just brush it off oh man that was a great experience but let me kind of go back to you know the everyday life and just keep striving nah man I wouldn't be able to come here I wouldn't be able to to share and I wouldn't be able to now help other people help other people reach a higher level of happiness you know I don't expect everybody to triple quadruple suddenly just shoot through the roof you know and ecstatic bliss and nah man I mean if it happens it happens you know but even if somebody is 1% happier, if somebody's 1% happier every single day because they watched a video of mine, because they, they heard a quote or they heard something that I'm, that I'm talking about and something made sense, huh, yeah, you know, cool, I'll try it. And, and their life is 1% happier. That is good enough, you know, that is cool. I would be happily making videos all the time and continuously do it on a daily basis because people are gaining a little bit happier, 1%, you know? Because if you do it 1% a day, in a year, that's 365% happier. Oh, you are, you are doing awesome, <laughs> you know? So, so that's why, that's why I left SPS, you know, that's why I left Six Pack. So, but I'm back, and I'm back not to go ahead and just show you how to build more muscle, you know? As you guys can see, I still got a little muscle. But I'm back to go ahead and show you something that I find that I believe is so much more valuable, so much more powerful, you know, and something that everybody is looking for, no matter if they are actively looking for it or not, you know, which is happiness, you know, fulfillment, you know, liberation. So I love you guys. Thank you for following me all these years, you know, really. And I'm doing the best I can now to find different ways to interact. You know, as you can see, as you can see, the videos are a little different now. You know, so I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. I'm an open book. You know, ask me anything, suggest me anything. What I want to do now is just give back, give back, give back. I've gained so much, you know, over the years. You know, and it's all because of you guys. So, anything that I can do for y'all, just let me know. I love you. Talk to y'all later.